Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 24th. Uh, we're going to look at your, um, we're going what are we going to do? We're going to look at your current general energies in this first row. We're going to look at anything unexpected that could be coming in for you, uh, in this row right here. Then we're going to look at anything that could be coming towards you. This could be love or otherwise love, <laughs> Uh, but it could be anything. It doesn't have to be love coming in. Could be money. Could be whatever. So we're gonna look at that here. Uh, then we're going to see uh, if there is any advice from your future self in this last row. Definitely going through a major change here, Leo. Um, in this row. So that's interesting. But uh, I'm using the. This is the Wheel of the Year Tarot, by the way. If you're wondering what deck this is. But you start off here with this manipulation card and this drama card. Some of you could be dealing with drama, of course, but you know this manipulation card really represents manipulation of energy. It represents kind of using your energy to get what you want. So it's more of kind of like a law of attraction card. I would definitely avoid drama and anything that kind of brings drama to your life. I feel that could be affecting you not only on like a health level, but also financially. And you do have the devil at the end. So, but you know, the interesting thing about the devil that I see in the end is, is it's kind of like, I, I, I'm seeing it as a choice. You could either transform a situation where there's too much drama or you leave. <laughs> um, this could definitely be a relationship, right? Like there could be too much drama. Maybe you need to have a discussion. But again, it's kind of interesting because again, as I always say, tarot, astrology, to me, they're not a prison sentence. To me, you are here to learn how to work with the energies. That's the whole point of watching tarot. So it's kind of like a choice here that I see at the end. It's like something could be getting to the point if you're in a relationship where it's getting toxic, but it doesn't have to be. You can have a conversation. You can talk. You can open your mouth, right? And that's exactly what I, I feel the reading is saying if you're in a relationship. For others, I would just avoid drama. Mars retrograde, you know, I avoid like drama, gossip, all those things. I would completely avoid and I do during Mars retrograde. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords the five of wands and the eight of cups here. This could be like a walking away situation. Some of you, it's like eight of swords is stuck. Five of wands is conflict and eight of cups is walking away. Some of you might be conflicted about walking away from something. I kind of feel like this is past energy though, for some reason here, Leo. I'm wondering if someone walked away from you or something like that and then learned the truth in this row right here. Maybe they learned that uh, you were true love or our true love. I don't know. We're going to look at it. You have the Eight of Swords here. Um, you always get like the Eight of Swords, stuff like that. I feel that just opening up to new ideas is going to be very beneficial for you, Leo. New ways of doing things, changing your business, changing um, you know, the way that you work, all that stuff would be really beneficial, I feel, with this energy. You also have the Five of Wands. I'm pretty sure you get this card with me all the time as well. <laughs> so very competitive energy. And I do get that here. Um, I kind of like it though. Be and I'll tell you why. Because you have the strength card right here. The strength card is your card. It puts you in a position of power and strength. But the strength card, normally that lady has her hands in the lion's mouth. And I always say like who in the right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? Nobody. So to me, it could be a card of a display of strength, like showing off, like accomplishing something. So I feel that a lot of you, like there could be a tension here is what I'm trying to spit out for an accomplishment, for something that you have accomplished. You have the Eight of Cups. For some of you, I feel you're kind of like in a very matter of fact energy with the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're making decisions to cut things out that no longer serve you. You're, you're really looking for fulfillment is what I feel this is saying. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty simple. With the Eight of Swords, you have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty. So I feel there is a lot of happiness coming in for you, a lot of joy as well. Um, it is interesting. I'm wondering if you're revisiting the past. Um, again, I'm not suggesting going back to the past or going back to an ex, trust me. <laughs> Some of you, you know, this that could be happening is what I'm trying to say, but I feel like it's already happened. So there you go. What I would also say is that this could also just be new love. Look, with the five of wands, you have the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of competition for someone here. Either it's you or it's them or both of you. I don't know. But, you know, I feel some of you could be attracting someone or you already have this person in your life who gets a lot of attention. Knight of Cups would be a knight in shining armor, though. I feel like this person's a lover, Pisces. So, or, you know, it could be a Pisces, what I was going to say, but you are Leo. <laughs> and I say that because you have the moon card right next to the strength card. It could also be a Capricorn as well. 
uh, could be another fire sign also is standing out to me. But what I would say is that, you know, this person could get a lot of attention, but I feel that you could be sweeping, you know, they sweep you off your feet or vice versa. And I feel like they're a lover. And like I said, that would make sense if they are a Pisces, but it might not be, you know, take it how it resonates. With the Eight of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. I see, I'm wondering, for some of you, I'm wondering if there was a false start in the past where something never got off the ground and now it is getting off the ground. You know, this could be a potential relationship. Uh, for others, I feel that this is a dream because the Ten of Cups is a dream. The Ten of Cups is your happily ever after, whatever that means for you. <laughs> it could be starting a business, having a dream career, whatever. Knight of Cups, normally he's dreaming of something. He's looking into that cup, kind of imagining something. And the Ace of Wands would be a new beginning. So kind of like a second chance to do something you've wanted to do. Uh, next in the area of um, the unexpected, you have this love card. It says true love and fidelity. You also have this Werven card. It says your secrets are safe. So it's kind of interesting. I feel you could be, you know, if you are if you want love, I feel you could be attracting a person who, you know, there's kind of like a certain amount of secrets here. I don't think it's secrets like you think. I think this person gets a lot of attention. So they want to, they kind of want to keep things on the down low just because, you know, they get a lot of attention. For others, I feel like that love card, again, might not be talking about love because of that strength card. It could be talking about something that you do love, something that you put a lot of time, effort, and energy into, like a business or career, um, you know, any, anything else really. And I kind of see that here. You have the King of Wands. This could be your energy. This is your energy, the Strength card, and the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is kind of like being spoiled for choice. It's a card of seeing kind of all the good and the bad opportunities that exist in a situation. But I really feel... The Seven of Cups is asking you to be strong. I feel like the Seven of Cups is saying that if you want something, I feel like you have to grab onto it and you just need to make it happen, right? You have to take the good with the bad with the Seven of Cups. But, you know, again, he's imagining those cups. So there might not be any bad. If you have any ideas, any ideas for projects or businesses or anything that you want to start, I kind of feel the strength card is saying that you're going to be seen as being very strong, but you have to be strong. <laughs> it's like, I feel like you have to put yourself in a position of strength. So especially for those of you working on projects, uh, you have the King of Wands as well. I feel like you're showing up really strong in the reading, which is nice. Your energy is here. The strength card is about being I mean, I mean, the uh, King of Wands about being bold, assertive, strong, confident, all of those things. And that's exactly what I would do there. Uh, if you're looking for love again, I feel like someone's putting in the work with that King of Wands. Like someone is doing the things they need to do to move towards you. And it could be a little unexpected. With the King of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're not stuck. You have the Eight of Swords twice right next to each other. Uh, you could be feeling stuck on a dream. You know, you have the Four of Swords here in this top row as well with the Two of Pentacles, which is telling me you just need to get to work. Um, four swords can be hoping and praying for blessings. So there might be certain blessings in your life that you are hoping and praying will, will enter into your life. And I feel like they can, if you kind of set yourself free. Uh, I also do get the feeling that again, if you've dealt with a toxic person, I would cut that person out, especially if you've noticed that, you know, sometimes I think we get into relationships and our money goes down. <laughs> I feel like this is saying that is, that's your sign. Do not go back to a person who's like that, right? With the uh, strength card, you have the magician. I would definitely be careful of any manipulator energy or anyone who could be a trickster. You know, again, I feel you know this person is because look, he's point. the magician is pointing this direction towards the devil. So if you dealt with a person who was like a liar, cheater, stealer, I would trust that. I would also say that the magician, I feel, is talking about reinvention in your business. Again, there's something that you love with that love card and you have the heart card next. So outside of love, we're talking about here, there's probably something that you wanna give your heart to, something you want to be passionate about, but it's like, it has to change, right? So it has to be upgraded in a different way. And that's exactly what I would be like looking at here. It's kind of funny because what's popping into my head is like radio. Like imagine if you always wanted to be a disc jockey when you were a kid, right? And you always wanted to be on the radio. It's like radio is basically dead nowadays. Nobody listens to the radio anymore, right? But people listen to podcasts. They listen to YouTube videos. It's like you could basically do the same thing, but in an upgraded way. And that's what I'm feeling here. It's like, I feel there are things maybe, especially for those of you that have careers and businesses, it's like maybe you're in a dying industry, but I feel like there are new ways that could 
make it very successful. And that's what I'd be looking at here. With the uh, Seven of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, just putting in the work. Seven of Cups, again, is my card of like, you know, all these things could happen. You know, you might be dreaming of starting a business or getting into a relationship. Everything on the Seven of Cups exists up here. But it's like, until you bring it down to earth, you don't actually know what the outcome of the situation is going to be. So don't get stuck in La La Land here, Leo. I feel Eight of Pentacles is saying something needs to be grounded in reality, whatever it is, whatever your, whatever your Ten of Cups is, basically, is what this reading is saying. Because your Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. You have this heart card. It says love, new love. You also have this uh, dolphin card. It says playfulness and cooperation. I would make sure that you are getting with someone who's playful, who brings more play, more fun into your life. And also someone who's cooperative. Like I said, on that devil card, I almost feel like that is a choice. I almost feel that devil card is saying, you could be dealing with a person. We all have toxic traits, right? <laughs> we, we, none of us are perfect, but it's like, are we willing to work on those things? I feel if this person is willing to work on the things that maybe are toxic and you're gonna have to work on things that make you toxic too, right? Like I said, none of us are perfect and that's great. Why would you wanna be perfect? But what I would say here is that it's like, if you're willing to work, then I think that's a perfect relationship because you're both willing to work on a, on whatever you need to work on. So I would definitely do that. And again, I would do it in a playful way. There's no reason to get in a fight or argument about this. Uh, definitely could be new love if you don't have love already in your life. You have the four swords, the moon, and the Ten of Swords. Again, this is a little bit scary. Again, this is what's coming into your life. So there could be some sort of ending coming into your life. I don't really feel this is a bad thing though. I mean, Ten of Swords is being dead done over with. It is being stabbed in the back, but you know, I kind of feel that you've been feeling this already. It, it, you know, maybe you've been in a relationship that you know has been ending for six months. <laughs> and yeah, it could lead to some sadness, but I kind of feel like this Ten of Swords is saying, why delay it any longer? You know, if if you if that's for you. And again, I only feel that's for some of you, not all of you. Right, right. But it's like, you know, something isn't right. Something in the back of your mind, if this message is for you, something in the back of your mind is like, this isn't right. And I feel like you need to listen to that little voice. Uh, for others, I just feel that there is something that has a lot of potential it, that is entering into your life with this card. Could be a Pisces for some of you, but I don't even think this has to be love. The high priestess represents potential kind of represents an opportunity, but again, it's a mystery, right? We don't really know. I'm um, sorry, this is the moon, but for some reason I was seeing high priestess for some reason, weird. Um, but again, this is the moon. But again, I still feel like this is something that just has potential. And really, again, I feel like it's a mystery because the moon also represents mysteries, just like the high priestess, but going this direction here, again, seven of cups, dreaming, mystery, the moon card, I always say on the moon card that to me, the moon does not say stop. The moon says you need to bring something down to earth. So I feel that, and maybe you're not clear on how to do it, but that's the whole point of the moon. The moon is darkness. The moon is mysteries. It's part of the fool's journey. He has to get to the mountains in the background of the moon. He doesn't know how he's gonna get there, but he just keeps moving forward, right? That's how he gets there. He just doesn't stop. And I feel for some of you, this is saying don't stop. There's something you're like dreaming of. I feel like there's something that you're imagining something that you want to create, do or have in your life. And, you know, I, again, I feel like you're just kind of like, you know, imagining, imagining it, dreaming of it, all that other stuff. And can, can we get more details on what this dream is? Again, I feel it's partially that 10 of cups with the uh, four swords, you have the king of swords. Interesting because king of swords, like, uh, like uh, whatever you're trying to create, I feel like you see it as something that is very, you know, rare, maybe something that only very few people accomplish. So this could be some sort of big accomplishment that never, that most people never reach, you know? It's, it's like I have the Navy SEALs popping into my head. I'm not saying that you're gonna become a Navy SEAL, but I'm saying like there could be some sort of accomplishment, something you're trying to work towards that most people don't do, right? And uh, that's what's popping into my head. Can we get another card on that? Uh, and you have the Empress, glow up. <laughs> you're probably just trying to have your glow up here trying to create uh, ultimate abundance. I feel like you're very attractive at this time as well. Uh, with the moon card, you have the page of cups. I told you, Pisces, definitely could be a Pisces, Cancer. Um, Capricorn stands out to me here as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. So there you go. Definitely could be love or a love offer coming in for you. Page of cups is another one of those cards. He's got that fish in that cup. He needs to like grab onto that fish. That could be his dream. So for a lot of you, there's something you is like, that would be like a dream come true in your life. And again, in business or work and Ten of Swords, you have the Knight of Pentacles, you just need to get to work. Knight of Pentacles, one foot in front of the other. He has this empty field behind him, which is again, opportunity, but he needs to plant those seeds in that field. 
I really feel you have like a great opportunity to create something amazing, especially this is really popping into my head as well as a financial reading. If you have, especially for those of you that have a business um, that are building like a following or a group of people or something like that, the devil to me could represent cutting things out that uh, take your time away from what you're working on as well. So I would be careful of any like distractions, right? Uh, next in the area of what is it? Oh yeah, messages from your future self. You have this tortoise card. It says slowly but surely getting ahead. You also have this caterpillar which says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. There's clearly a change coming in for you. It's like, how bad do you want something, Leo? I feel if you have a business or work, it's like, are you willing to work on it no matter what? <laughs> That's a question that is popping into my head. Would you want to create what you're creating at this time no matter what or no? I, I you know, again, I can't answer that question for you. You have to answer that question, right? And, and, and if the answer is no, then I feel you're gonna be creating something else, plain and simple. But you're definitely in this caterpillar caterpillar soup, as I love calling it, type of stage where I feel like you're kind of like getting ready to turn into a butterfly. You're getting ready to um, you know, grow wings and to break out of your chrysalis or whatever and kind of create float around in the world. I, I guess that's what butterflies do, right? Uh, but there's some sort of change that needs to happen. And you're getting there. Maybe it's a little bit too slow for you. You have the two of pentacles, devil, and the four of cups. I feel so conflicted about this devil energy. <laughs> On one hand, I feel like this could be something so amazing in your life, something where there's a very kind of like deep creative connection with another person. The other part of me is like, is there too much drama and, and manipulation in this situation? Or is someone, you know, the other question I have popping into my head is, is someone sacrificing something that they want? It's like, if we get into a relationship and we have certain you know, desires or things that make us fulfilled in a relationship and we're not getting those things, it's like, what's the point? There are, you know, 10 billion people on earth practically. There's bound to be someone, right? If you go and look, there's bound to be someone that can provide the fulfillment you're looking for and you can provide the same thing to them as well. So, you know, I feel like there's a discussion, especially for those of you that are in a relationship, right? And, you know, as I always say, tarot is in a prison sentence. Having the discussion will prevent anything toxic from happening. If you don't, then these toxic things build up, right? And it just gets worse. You have the four cups. Four cups is thinking the grass will be greener on the other side. This is why I encourage people to work on relationships if they're in one. It's like, trust me, you don't want to be running around on these streets right now. Dating is a nightmare, right? Nowadays, it's not like it used to be where you would just, you know, go marry little Susie Gherkins from down the street, as I love saying. So, you know, I feel this is saying it's much better to work on something that's successful. Obviously, if it's not successful, if they're abusive or something like that, leave. I feel like I shouldn't have to explain that, but I do. So, you know, obviously if it's just not working, leave. But if you love the person, if there's still something there, then I would work on this situation. I feel like your future self is saying, it's like, it's not gonna get better if you think you're gonna like go find someone else, right? as long as it's a positive relationship in the first place. Again, if it's negative, leave, please. Uh, you have the two of pentacles here, definitely have a choice. Two of pentacles, like work hard, play hard. I do feel if you're like in a relationship that isn't going necessarily, you know, again, maybe it's not going the wrong direction, but maybe it's also not going the right direction. I feel more playfulness, more childlike energy, you know, kind of bringing the playfulness back into the relationship would be a good idea. You know, maybe both of you need to remember why you fell in love with each other in the first place or, you know, whatever, because I feel like that'll kind of spice things up. Uh, for others, you know, I actually like the devil for business personally because it's Capricorn. And, you know, to me, it can be a very good card for work. To me, it's also a really good card for the initial creation of something. It's kind of like root chakra energy. Not That's not exactly 100% true, but I'm just giving you an example here. To me, it can kind of represent that creation energy. It needs to be brought up to your head. It needs to be brought to, from, you know, the root to your uh, logical side of things so that you can put it into the real world. And so I feel... This two of pentacles is like saying, it's time to start um, getting to work. <laughs> it's time to start manifesting something here on earth. Uh, with the two of pentacles, and that's the whole reading has been about that. Uh, with the two of pentacles, you have the lovers. Clearly there's love here. So again, like I said, the reason I'm saying uh, don't leave this person necessarily is because I feel like there's love here. And like I said, people always get mad at me. They're like, how dare you say I stay with a person who beats me every night? I'm like, when did I say that? Number one, and what the hell are you doing? Number two feel like I shouldn't have to explain this, but apparently I do, like I said. So there you go. But again, obviously, if there's love there, stay. Uh, you know, both those cards represent a choice too. So it's like we all have free will. We have the choice to do something. With the devil, here you go, six of cups, more childlike energy. You have every single card of basically that kind of represents our inner child. And here you go. <laughs> 
So I feel like your life, even outside of love, needs more playfulness, needs more joy and happiness. What did you want to be when you were a child? Are you doing those things? Are Is there a hobby that you could do that would make you feel more child childlike, right? It's like there are certain things where if you don't do those things, then you're not in alignment. I think that childlike activities like play, having fun, whatever that means for you, uh, you know, doing things that you once enjoyed, that brings us more into alignment. It's like, I find like, if I'm not doing my hobbies or things I enjoy, um, you know, at least a few times a week, then, you know, I start, things start going downhill, right? Start making less money. I start getting bored, you know, it, bad things happen. And so I think we need to kind of like balance things out. With the uh, four cups, you have the nine of swords. Get out of your head. This is like a never ending nightmare. Again, I feel this could be prevented. I want to stress this in this reading, especially for those of you in a relationship. It's like, don't allow something. I see this as something building up. Like I said earlier with that devil energy, like toxic energy. So I'd be careful of that. For others, I feel like there's new love uh, coming in for you, like I said. So we're going to pull five main themes for you here, Leo. And we're going to see what your five main themes are for the week. Uh, you have this pig card. It says, beware of greed. Didn't I see something else? I mean, devil. Then you have the five wands as well. So I would be careful of, you know, greedy people or greedy situations for sure. I kind of feel like this is a situation that could be entering into your life though, is what I would say. It's almost like giving me Knight of Swords vibes. Sometimes when I get the Knight of Swords in a reading, which you don't have it, but I feel like it's a second opinion card. Maybe it could be like you're getting your car fixed and maybe a mechanic is like, oh, a million dollars, but maybe it really only costs like $10, right? <laughs> so I would, you know, again, if you, I would get a second opinion is what I'm getting there on anything. Like maybe you're getting your plumbing fixed or maybe you're getting something else fixed in your house. I would get a second opinion. You have this chain card. It says chain of events will affect your life. Things are kind of coming together. I feel this is part of the transformation that you're going through. And, um, you know, again, I feel like this is definitely a good thing. Uh, with this pin card, you have this new job, new career. I mean, we talked about this this entire time. There are definitely changes in your career for sure, I feel. And these changes are going to lead to more success. I kind of feel like it's something that needs to be happening. You know, again, I feel like I say this to you every single reading about like upgrading your business if you have one or upgrading the way that you do things. So I would definitely be doing that. Uh, funny enough, you have this dolphin card. You have the dolphins card here as well. This says financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. You have a lot of past energy that I'm picking up here, obviously. And, um, you know, I kind of feel that there could be a lot of abundance coming in for you. You know, during these times where we have a lot of retrogrades, I always think like, maybe we're building up a debt with universe. And I mean that in a good way. Like if we do a lot of work, we might not see that money or we might not see the benefits right now. But maybe after the retrogrades, it's almost like the universe pays us back with interest. <laughs> and so I would be doing the work right now, Leo. I feel like you don't realize how much momentum you're building. I always talk about the importance of momentum because, you know, I had a buddy who had a real estate business and he used to send out letters. That's how he would get a majority of his business. And so he became very successful, but then he stopped sending the letters. He stopped the momentum. It's like, the, and the funny thing is, he stopped sending the letters. He was still getting business for like a few months after, right? but then he lost all that momentum. So I kind of feel that here where it's saying, you might be building a lot of momentum. It kind of reminds me of YouTube. It's like there are plenty of people who they don't take off right away. It takes a, a certain amount of time, but eventually all the work that they did catches up and they start their new videos start taking off. And because of that, their old videos start taking off because their new ones take off. So it's like, you're building a lot of momentum here. And I feel like this is saying, keep going. Uh, you have this chair filled card it says someone new is entering your life. Definitely we saw this throughout the whole entire reading, a new person entering into your life. I'm I'm kind of wondering if some of you, it, you could be in something as well and there could be a new person coming into your life and you're having to make a decision. I feel like one person makes your life so much easier is literally what I'm getting here. The other person full of drama. <laughs> so you might have a choice to make, but I feel like the choice is simple. So thank you for being here, Satch. Really appreciate it. Or Leo, sorry. Uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.